Hello, Georgia551 here. Salutations. We are back here at the Lester's Pants Shop. And if you noticed from the previous video, if you've paid very close attention, the R and S's have been redone. I found a tutorial to make the letters appear proper. The P looks a little funky, but right now we'll let that live. So, we're going to continue with the store. Anyway, what I have been doing, and I've used this dirt block to keep monsters at bay, is I've built a little employees only area, which this might be moved. And everywhere that's cobblestone is surrounded, as well as leftover smooth stone that I've had dictates where you're not going to see anything because there's going to be new walls and new floors. So I've, I'm going to use the same pattern that I've used in two different Lester's Pants World locations. I have built this before on the Templeman server and that was before it closed. And I've got it on my current server, which is not closed. So basically the walls are green and yellow striped down the middle. And the floors are checkerboard patterned. Simple enough, isn't it? These are the... Uh, for those of you that may have played real tough doom levels back in the day although the modern day uh, source ports they I don't recommend using because they don't seem to work too well because the a lot of the levels took advantage of some of the uh, glitches that the original doom engine had and the source ports don't support. So you wind up with things like levels that you can't complete or what have not. Anyway, for those of you that might actually remember or have actually recently played any of that stuff, you'll notice that most of the borders that go around everything are, you know, going around all the artwork are green and yellow, and that's what this actually represents the real tough pretty much the colors that were used on most real tough introductory screens for the game Doom so you get the idea when we come back it's not gonna all be done I'm gonna not have enough material but you'll get an idea and we'll get some more of this project done and ready to go. Well, we're getting some of the finish work done, which isn't much. You might notice we've left the quote-unquote plywood over the door area. That's because we don't have the glass for transoms yet. But we are putting regular doors in, so as you walk out, you can make sure it's safe. Also note the lack of any buttons or pressure plates because you don't want to walk up and the doors open on you and surprise, creeper. So, yeah, we're going to put in windows as well. We're not touching the small store yet. As you can see, we got the floor in. And the windows are going on the outside wall, just like so. Yeah, we got plenty more. Actually, I think I'm going to reverse it a little bit. I think this might look a bit better. Yeah, it does. When it's all said and done, it'll look better. Makes more sense. 
All right, there we go with that. And replacing most of these lights with a bit of glowstone and we got more green. You have more green, uh, you know, this stuff here, clay for the ceilings. I brought a whole mess. I don't think I'm going to use anywhere near the amount that I brought, but I figure I might as well bring it with me just because we can. Interesting right there. Well, it's not going to be perfect, but yeah, you get the idea. Oh, look, things don't exactly line up the way they should. Oh, no, we don't want to do that. Oh, I hate using my good pickaxes for this stuff but you know every now and then we gotta kind of do that so now we can start getting rid of these guys here and I see that's not looking too bad only got four more of those left, but I got plenty more of the. I might not need more. Hey, there we go. We got the. We got the store pretty much made up. Now what I am going to do is. Block off the area. So people don't go in because I really don't want them to go in quite yet. I have not done anything with this area as of yet. This is getting moved. And there wasn't anything in there, surprised. Alrighty, and that's going to go away. We've got plenty more of the yellow stuff available, so what I'm going to do is okay, we'll just put you there. Just use yellow for the employees only area, which is what this is here. Hmm, it's hard to do this and not get in the way of the flowers. Oh, I can always get more. Oh, well, it's intact. That's actually even better. Yeah, we gotta leave that. We gotta leave that as ground cover because. That's how this stuff works. And while well, we're thinking of it, yeah, we're gonna plop it in. It just doesn't want to do it sometimes. And just to make it nice and bright, we'll actually use four in here. So there we go, we got the, uh, the four plants that allow you to bone meal them to make different colors. I mean, get pigments free of charge pretty much. And the storage chest that's over there is going to go over here. And this will be to cook various dyes, mostly the cactus green. And now you got to look pretty much what Lester's Pants looks like, at least in terms of the main layout. However, of course, we're not done quite yet. So... What's next?
Well, back after a few days, I've also been gathering stuff for the Under Arms project while I was here. So I finished up the interior. This is what it kind of looks like. Reconfigured the lights because I kind of did it a little wrong. It's a little darker, but it all works. And we got our fitting rooms, which are more than big enough to fit a person, needless to say. And now we're ready to you know, set up the store. Okay, right over here is going to be our, that'll be our till right there. And there'll be signs and everything as to what is there. So one of the things I want to do right now, this is going to disappear eventually, is in each spot right here, there's going to be a display. So I'm putting that together right now. Whoops, that's not wanted. I'm not liking how dark this looks, so let's F3. Apparently it's fine. That's okay. Yeah, we gotta check. We gotta make sure that that third thing from the very bottom on the left is light. We want the block number to not go below, not below eight. Seven is bad, and none of them are going any lower. So that's fine, even though it looks dark. And then what we have here are item frames, which will show the particular item that will be showcased and then uh, because of this guy I can't put one right there quite yet and then there'll be a sign here and there will be a monetary system but it's gonna be ridiculously simple easy I'm not gonna charge anything really bad I'm gonna charge iron ingots and the reason for using that is way over yonder, over there somewhere, there's an iron farm. So, I mean, getting iron for whatever you need, not very hard. In fact, it's pretty much literally giving away the store. So, I got some dyes in here, and with bone meal, perpetual dyes here, yellow, red, and two different sort of bright purplish shades of whatever they are. A furnace in which I can cook up green dye. And I got some stuff going here. We got some dyes over here. And there's still some, there's still another Lester's pants, some inventory, some underarms and other really related stuff there so that's what we have right now so this video is going to end with the store being set up but not fully stocked so there's going to be another video after this so I'm going to come back with most of the setup and call this particular video good slowly refilling the pen over here I did a lot of killing to get a lot of leather. Anyway, if we come this way, the funny thing is if we go that much further, the signs disappear. But we got a billboard. And I thought that things were going to go slow enough that there'll be another video, as I was saying. But things surprisingly went fast enough that... We can actually call it good. So this is actually done. And if anyone wants this space, they can have it if they contact me. I had an idea and I forgot what I wanted to do with it. So Lester's Pants is done. Now, not everything is 100% stock because, well, just not possible at this point. There's enough to call it good. Anyway, make your payments here. There is a payment system and it is far more far more suitable. And here pants and frames are for display purposes. Do not take them. So colored pants. One iron ingot per pair. There's an iron farm over there, so 
It's not that hard to get iron ingots. As you can see, got it filled enough to make it work. There's other colors that I'm just not going to waste my valuables on. Enchanted pants. Stuff that I get from the zombie spawner. And just put here as irregular. And of course we have pants recycling. Put your worn, tired pants here. Now let's start here at shutting employees only. Leather pants see Def Leopard with pride. One ingot for that. Same here. Golden pants. Snoop Lion's teeth. Leg form. And that's what we got there. Then we have chainmail. The envy of your Dungeons and Dragons buddies. Because these are sort of rare, the price is a little higher. And there's only one right now. And iron pants, well, it's a dime a dozen. So there you go there. And this is the only, these are the only diamonds I'll use of my collection diamond pants a girl's best friend i think i'm getting away pretty cheap at 16 iron and gets a pair and there's only one and that's all i'm making at least here in another mine i probably will do a little more and of course on this side we got the billboard as well but i don't think we're going to need it so this got done a bit faster than anticipated so there was going to be another video continuing this project but trying to line myself up here yeah close enough anyway as I was saying I thought there would be enough content to do one more video but we've got things far enough along good enough it's done so that's Lester's pants it's now open and this is Georgia551 saying, hope you enjoyed this tiny two-part series and have a good one.